today is a lovely Sunday afternoon, it's sunny, I am hydrated, pretty well caffeinated. I'm jacked! I'm jacked to the test! Uh, and got a few hours of coding ahead of me. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Let me show you what I want to get done today. Today, hopefully I can start doing uh, some of these video graphic topics. Um, mainly rounding the video, positioning the webcam, cropping the webcam, uh, padding and maintaining the aspect ratio. So let me show you what I've got at the moment. So this is the app uh, starting off of the day, uh, pretty much same as last time. Uh, let me hit record and see what's going on. So this is actually um, this is actually a video of what's been exported. You can see I'm like selecting stuff and things like that. Um, and so it might be hard to see on camera, but basically the background image here um, is what I've done last time and then centered the screen recording and gave it like padding around the sides. Um, but it's kind of hard to see but the aspect ratio of the screen recording is kind of messed up because of I because I resized it. So I need to fix that. Um, I disabled the webcam for the moment, but I need the webcam to be either like in the corners here somewhere up top or at bottom. So I need to add that and make sure it's cropped properly. Um, and then I was also working on uh, yeah, rounding the corners of the video just to make it look nicer and then maybe add some background shadow. Um, as you can see in the code here, I'm using CG rect rectangles, uh, which are kind of hard to um, add rounded corners to. You're supposed to use uh, a mutable path and add the rounded corners and stuff. But then when I draw the image into the uh, bounding box of the mutable path, it isn't rounded. As you can see, they're still like pointy. So need to fix that. Main focus this afternoon is getting the webcam uh, properly positioned and be able to move it around, uh, change the padding, uh, if you want it or not, of the uh, screen recording inside the background rounded corners. Yeah, let's go. Few inches later. So, it's been a productive Sunday afternoon. It's been very good. Uh, let me show you the exported video. So, this is the exported video with all the code I've just implemented. So, there you go, proof it's a video. So, what has been changed here is that I've added padding around the video that's controllable. I'll show you that in a little sec. So, there's padding. I can now change the webcam position. Uh, I can have it in the bottom right, center, left, you know, all around the screen, um, which is awesome. And I also fixed uh, the aspect ratio scaling. So when there's padding, it changes the uh, desktop uh, recording size and that respects the aspect ratio so that it doesn't look all squished or stretched. Uh, so that's really solid improvements. And I also added a little bonus feature. You can flip the webcam. So here, uh, my hair is going to the right and then there, like my hair is going to the left so you can flip the webcam so that's pretty good it's been a really good afternoon what i changed basically is that i was having po uh, having trouble positioning like the background and then the screen recording and then the webcam it was all like moving around what i did instead was uh create a function where i split basically the uh, desktop and the webcam into its own context so it's sort of like if you're familiar with After Effects or like Premiere you sort of create a composition so basically I put the uh, screen recording of the desktop and the webcam image inside their own pre-comp uh, format the size move the image around move the webcam around wherever I want inside that pre-comp and then I have another one uh, here context which does the background so then I format that one as well with the like render width 
render, render height. I then just draw the image into it, calculate the size of the pre-comped desktop and webcam uh, with the aspect ratio, and then just draw that in as well. Um, and that's how you get a frame. Uh, so yeah, let's check the Notion doc. I can tick off, do 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 do, position a webcam, cropping, padding, maintain, flip. Damn. For the moment, the, all the frames are still just stored in a single array, which is not good. So I need to change that next time. So it's the day after, uh, Monday night. Just finished work, went for a run and gonna code for a bit, maybe for like an hour or something before uh, shutting down for the night. Uh, so tonight, hopefully I can fix, um, it's not really a bug, but I need to optimize the way I store images and write them to disk whilst actually capturing uh, the screen recording. So at the moment they're all put inside an array and I just push all the images into an array and then once the, once the time lapse is done, I just like, export them all out of the array um, this was just to get like the rendering pipeline done up quickly um, so now I need to sort it out uh, for real um, so what I'm thinking is storing perhaps five or ten images um, and then writing them to disk whilst still recording um, so yeah we'll see how that goes um, if I'm writing if I'm using the array and like writing them to disk whilst I'm recording and try and push on it, that might cause problems. So I might need to switch between like two different arrays or something like that. Um, yeah, if you have an idea, uh, let me know in the comments uh, if there's a better way to do this. Um, but I might just try and, you know, spend like an hour on this tonight. And if it's uh, working well, I'll leave it. Otherwise I'll do like deeper research on how to, uh, do this better so uh, yeah let's uh, crack on a bit yo guys so it's just been over about an hour and as you can see I tried out the um, like swapping swapping arrays uh, thing I was talking about so um, there's the two of them there and then, uh, yeah, when I grab a screenshot, I also check if the arrays have more than five frames in them and then go and uh, write them to disk. But before that, I toggle a bo Boolean to switch which array I write images to and uh, yeah, and write the other one to disk. So that's working quite well. So if I fire up a time lapse now, uh, there we go. So let's just wait a few frames. So three, four, five, and then on the next one, uh, you can see here writing main array. So that's writing like these two to disk, and then it's writing in the backup and then writing backup array, and then it writes this one. So whilst this backup is being written to disk, it's actually filling up this one and vice versa and gets cleared out at the end. Uh, so I go ahead and stop that. Uh, there we go, and it's just outputting it there. So that's working pretty well. I did have a bug where the webcam array wasn't emptying and I couldn't understand why. It would have like a hundred images in it in the end and it was kind of frustrating but then i noticed that it wasn't happening with the desktop array so that was the first little bit of knowledge that was useful and that's because the the desktop uh desktop array is um captured in a dispatch queue and pushed in a dispatch queue so, and the webcam wasn't, so I'm guessing there was some sort of uh, concurrency problem because I was trying to push to the array whilst removing them and it just didn't work out. So ever since I put the dispatch queue for the webcam as well, it's working. Um, so yeah, that like array swapping stuff is working. Uh, and I also fixed 
um, just a little doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, aspect ratio bug or yeah rendering bug with different um, resolutions because I'm on my MacBook screen and it was uh, broken uh, I can put that clip on on screen to show the difference all right thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this devlog please hit the subscribe button I'm nearly at 1k subs so maybe you could help me reach that goal that'd be awesome and I also do shorts uh, and try and be funny about tech so if you want to check those out feel free to do so as well Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. And before I go, I will leave you with a quick recap of what we managed to do uh, this week. All right. Bye-bye.